surprise, man, this is your car. I'm gonna be honest, man, I didn't have too much faith in you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about mechanics, but I do know that is not supposed to be back there. Brandon, remember that motor was sitting in the back of my car? It looks a lot better. <laughs> it's a whole unit now. It looks a lot better now. I'm gonna be honest, man, I didn't have too much faith in you. <laughs> I was just in the back of your truck getting rained on, just. They came a long way. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, man, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. Now we just gotta see the uh, metal cage you're putting it in, right? It's a lot worse looking. <laughs> <laughs> show me the shiny stuff first. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you the pretty things <laughs> I put together and then I'll show you the ugly stuff. All right, well, let's see it. Let's see the ugly things? Yeah, Come on. Let's see. Well, it's definitely not as pretty. Not as pretty. Wow, that is very strange looking under there and just seeing hollow. Oh yeah, the hood's pop. You can open it and just Back see nothing. Back in college, I could have bench pressed this thing without it. Oh, yeah, there she goes. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Yeah, that is really weird. Thank God you got that on there. You got everything. Out. It's unlocked. You can open it up and look at the interior. That's not going to be in there very much longer. You got rain guards too, man. Look at you. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. Well, I actually can still see the <laughs> the ground. Shh. Oh, okay. We don't talk about the fact that you can see the ground from sitting in my car. Be quiet. Whoops. <laughs> Well, at least you got a sunroof, you know. I'm deleting it. Okay. Should I even dare do this? Oh. Well, the good news That's is... That's a transmission. It's not in the right part of the car, though. Yeah, I don't know much about mechanics, but I do know that is not supposed to be back there. <laughs> there is good news, though. So far, I cannot see the ground from the trunk. That's good. That is good. That is good. Solid. Wow. Yeah. What's her name? There isn't one yet. Yeah. Uh, I prefer a shit box. It's a good one. Is this the part of the video where you hand me the keys and you're like, surprise, man, this is your car? No. No? No. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Shouldn't get my hopes up. <laughs> I was like, thanks, man. I'll walk it out it's of even, here. It's even matching my truck with the cracked windshield. Hey, man. At least you're consistent. 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 At least you're consistent. You can be one thing. You should be consistent. Or efficient. Or however that goes. Don't don't make it any worse, please. Just durability test. Oh. There you go. You're going to want that. Uh, you can put that back. That's okay. for added effect. Well, it is definitely a car. Bill. It's a car, Bill. It is a car. You're Those missing, are them sticky boys I was talking about. Missing one of your little red doodahs. Yeah, there's a lot of those missing. So Brandon has now officially seen the race car for the first time, and uh, he's impressed with what I've done with the motor. It went from a absolute turd to something beautiful. So I'm hoping that he believes in me to turn the race car from an absolute pile of trash into something awesome. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Hold on, let me see if I can get a good angle. All right, so if you see the hood of the car is covered in, absolutely covered in dents, it's like hail damage. I have picked up another hood from my buddy Dylan on the way here, as well as he actually had an EK trunk just sitting. This one, this one's got big holes where a wing was mounted, if you can see it on the paint. I picked up another trunk so I don't have wing holes in the back. So this goes in the garbage, the hood gone. I'm gonna replace both of those. And then my friend, uh, my friend Gio that you guys saw uh, his Silver Civic has black housing headlights. I'm not a fan of the chrome myself, but he wants to go with more of an OEM look. So I told him he could take my headlights and we could trade. So I've got to pull the headlights out. I got to put the new bumper on. I'm going to try to put the front end together somewhat. I also may have ordered a, uh, a snail for the H22. So it's not going in a anymore. It might actually go uh, a little turbo, but we'll see. Also, these wheels were supposed to go back to the original owner of this car. Um, since then, I decided just to buy the wheels so I didn't have to deal with taking them off. But it has almost brand new 
R888s on the front, Toyo R888s. R and I need to pull these wheels off to get them out of the weather because I don't want those tires to dry rot and go bad. So I have some steelies I'm going to put the put the car on just to just to sit so I can I'm going to refinish the lips. And then these are plastic dipped white, so I need to strip all that stuff off. And I, I'm just going to try to bring the, the the wheels back to looking mo like re like, like decently clean because these things right here are kind of hurt. I just want to make them look good. Here's the hood. It has no dents. It's clean. Granted, the, the it's peeling really badly, but it's all gonna get wrapped. So that's all gonna get sanded off. And then underneath the hood, I have the uh, the new trunk sitting here without the wing holes. So I'm gonna get these unloaded from the truck. I'm gonna move them over to the car. We're gonna pull the other ones off, and we're gonna flip them over. Now the hood typically is only held on with two bolts on each side. So I think this is only got one on each side. I'm gonna pop those out. And uh, the hood should just come off. The other hood should just go right back on. I'm probably gonna have that bevy help me sit it on there and tighten it down real quick. New hood is on, old hood is gone. Now we need to move on to the trunk, get the new trunk or the old trunk off, get the new trunk on, and that will eliminate my issues with the holes in the trunk from the uh, the previous wing that was on it. I don't like wings. I, I don't think this car needs one, so we're just gonna get rid of that altogether. out of the trunk now I need to pull the uh, the cable I think I'm just gonna remove the whole mechanism actually I have to unlatch it which sucks but you gotta do what you gotta do you got the old trunk off new trunk to go on this is the main reason I want to swap these trunks out is if I peel back my my waterproof seal here you see that this has been like Hack job welded back together, and uh, I just don't want that on my new car. Not uh, not on the race car. The trunk uh, key release is what I'm really concerned about being swapped over because I want my key to work for the whole car.
And now we have the trunk with no holes. I need to get the body lines straightened out on each side, but I'll adjust all that when we get the car out from against this wall. But the new trunk is on. The new hood is on. All of it still needs to be adjusted and put in place, but I'm waiting on Geo so we can swap out headlights. And then I'll try to put the front end together a little better. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Unfortunately, my buddy did not come with the headlights. He got hung up with some stuff. But we did get the new hood on the car. And we got the new trunk on the car. I got lazy and didn't put the wiring harness in it, so I'll have to do that another day. But those two body panels are on there. It looks much better. I don't have to worry about water getting in through those stupid rust holes in the back anymore. And it looks ten times better. I'm just glad that I'm making progress on the EK build. Big shout out to my boy Bebby here. He's letting me do all of these things out of his shop, and I do greatly appreciate that. So, as always, guys, I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.